Well, this is the boat as we're coming along. This week we'll show you, got the sides on. I think I mentioned I put this blue tape on the edge because it gets real tight in here. You see it's kind of a big guy. All that plywood was rubbing up and I kept getting splinters in my shirt and in my belly. So let me move back here and we can show you what we're doing. So now you can see that we've got all the inside compartments. All of these have been fiberglassed from the bottom up to where the deck the yeah the deck will hit all that's been turned and flanged onto the ends or tabbed onto the ends so i think the last video we showed we did those three compartments over there and so this week we had a lot of work out of town and stuff and some family stuff so i wasn't able to do it but got all three of these glassed so this is all glass with 1808 pulled those fillets i think i've got some footage of maybe not pulling the fillets but actually laying this fiberglass in here well, this is actually where I laid the fiberglass and this process is the same as it's been for all the other stuff that we do is make up the epoxy and then lay down a couple of coats. So you want to put one coat on the wood and then give it time to kind of kind of start setting up. And then you come back and right before I put this second layer of glass on here. And once again, understand this glass has already been put on a table uh, with Visqueen and soaked you can tell that it's already wet it's already wetted out as as the term goes uh or as i use it um it's already been saturated with epoxy and so once again two layers on the wood and then i come back and wet out the fiberglass that's already been pre-measured when it was dry cut trimmed so then i wet it out and now i place it in here and all i'm doing is taking this roller and and there was a little bit of epoxy left um and i try and put it on the on the sides of the uh, where that where that fiberglass goes vertical because it seems to me like over time the the epoxy actually just kind of drains out of that fiberglass and that's probably because i'm i'm saturating a little too much which i'm i'm okay with airing on that side i don't want to put it on too dry um but i have seen you know the difference in from when i started doing all the boat to now at the end when it's all said and done it uh it certainly looks like it's uh stays saturated in the in the upper parts of those vertical walls that's the best i can describe it but i'm kind of running through this fast you can see it and i'll actually walk away and leave this for a while and uh, as i go on and do the, the the next two compartments so i won't show you that and then you know like you see here is i'm gonna come back with that little fin roller and uh just take it real nice and easy and go over everything get all the air bubbles out make sure it's laying flat and that process has been working pretty good So it's, that's just gonna make us move forward. So the next trick, uh, what you're gonna see is I think the first thing I'm gonna do is I'll come in here like I did with that belt sander and as I'm gonna try and put a little chamfer or soften that edge on that chine. And then we'll come in here and fit up, uh, dry fit all of these fiberglass panels. Um, I've kind of been dreading this area cause it's got a lot of stuff going on so gonna get in there and dry fit all that fiberglass and uh get all the fillets pulled like i said i'm gonna, I'm gonna sand this down cut all these cut all these zip ties out once i sand that down pull the fillets um this line let me see if i can give it to you this way it kind of gives you an idea of what was coming in flush and then eventually you get up into here you get up into this area and then the chines actually show in this compartment so everything on you know basically from here back all of this will all be covered and never be seen and uh, all of this stuff in here I think eventually the uh, the floor or the sole will go in here but maybe these chines will be exposed by the way that you can just see the difference in the height here so these will be exposed so we'll try to do a really good job of making that neat um, once again, all this will be below the deck. I plan on putting a big hatch right here. Uh, and being able to use all of this for storage, like I talked about, probably gonna put a um, either two 12 volt batteries or maybe jump out there and do a 24 volt lithium um, to run the trolling motor. So um, 
that's the next step and then we're gonna at the same time we're gonna continue moving up towards the front this is a very very forward bow section um, you kind of see I have to pull those fillets in here and then uh, I'm gonna cloth all that there's a, a deck piece that'll go in here and like I said I plan on making this an anchor locker so I want to try and finish this off as, as clean as I can and make it make it look good um, same thing same process we're almost done with the inside here and uh, start putting the floor stringers on uh, the floor supports the uh, one by ones that go across here and then of course putting all the all the pieces that will go from one end to the other um, be getting ready to put all those and those will all be put on with thickened epoxy in place maybe with some screws to hold them to that thickened epoxy bonds um, but this is the other side that compartment just gonna vacuum all this stuff out um, dry fit all the fiberglass I have to go back to my drawings and see how far up this hull side that that fiberglass goes I think it, it may only come to it may I'll bring it a couple inches and then the other one will, the other one will come down and, and overlap it so this is a good little shows the little cleat that I had in here so I had two screws that were into this transverse bulkhead and then when I put that chine on there I just had one screw that I ran down in it and like I said it just kept kind of helped me hold it in place um, all the way up in there but all in all this shows you kind of the fit and the finish here I mean this is all this stuff was cut out you know back in July and it just shows you how flush all this kind of came when it all came together that's how uh, to me that's pretty impressive how it came to fit like that good design so that's it so we're showing all the center here Get a little, what it looks like from the top all those little compartments there they're about I don't know 12 inches deep um, and I'm gonna fill all this with foam I have all my chases and all that run through there for all the wires and fuel and everything else and then I'm gonna come back here and I think I showed this before but this is how I packed all of this transom all of this in the back I packed that all with thickened epoxy and when I pulled those last fillets packed all that with thickened epoxy and then we're gonna come back and give you a better idea and the reason that's gonna matter is there's a, there was a little gap in there so now that'll be solid from inside and out especially when I pull the fillets on the inside but now when I have to bring that fiberglass over the top of this the transom the, the motor well top right here which is the transom it'll come over here and then wrap up underneath the bottom of the boat um, I'll be one piece of fiberglass and then this kind of shows that all this is real thick I'm also going to come back in here because I'm going to be putting seacocks in here I've already decided I'm going to map out this piece of plywood here and I'm going to I'm going to bond another piece of plywood on both sides so that when that seacock goes in there it's, it's got a lot more a lot more stuff uh, it'll be twice as thick that'll make it almost an inch thick and with all the fiberglass it'll make it a lot stiffer and then we're going to start as soon as we get done with the front we'll come to the back and start working on all this so not a lot that got different but we did get all of this side run here and like I said this little tape uh, Especially in close quarters that I'm in, it helps a lot. So, a little view down both sides here. And uh, that's it. Short video this week. Um, if you made it this far in the video, I'm going to talk about something as, we, as I keep walking around the boat. Be anxious to see, hear any comments. But I'm thinking as this, the following for this boat build has been growing a lot. Um, subscriber counts going up the views are going up and uh you know kind of a milestone is a thousand subscribers so what i'm thinking about doing is out of my own pocket we're not talking to anybody out of, about anything just knowing how much this built meant to me um i have a thought that um once i get to a thousand subscribers of going through and pulling all the names on everybody who's ever commented or ever done anything on any of these videos who's interacted with me and uh 
give an option to uh, that I will pay for any of Salt Boat Works' plans. You need just the plans, not the pre-cut jigs and not, you know CNC cuts or anything like that. Paper plans, much like I did here, same as I did here, is that I will actually buy that. Almost, you know, it's kind of like a, a giveaway, so to speak. So, thinking about doing that. Let me know if you listen to this and watching it. I'm kind of doing it covertly here by walking around the boat, but. Uh, let me know if that's something anybody would be interested in, and then we'll see if we continue to talk about it and grow it. So, till next week, I'm trying to put out a better one next week. Um, picked up some jobs. It's been good, so work's been good. But hopefully this week we get a lot more work done. But here's enough. Y'all yeah. have a good week, and God bless y'all.